paying attention to the mental and emotional health of students makes it easier for students to learn in the classroom because they identify it as a safe space. Some teachers do this intuitively, while others may find it more difficult to incorporate amongst the content. Having these important conversations regularly will encourage your students to make their mental and emotional health a priority. So let's talk about some ideas that you can incorporate into your classroom to address students' mental and emotional health. The simple act of asking students how they are on any given day can promote this environment of compassion. Plus, acknowledging students' feelings models how they too should be mindful of their emotions. Another way I recommend educators implement these discussions is to carve out time for journaling. Start by providing your students with a writing prompt and let them take it from there. You can also just have free journaling time in which students can write whatever they want. I don't know any schools that are not making literacy skills a priority, and journaling provides not only an avenue to let students express their emotions, but also provides the more academic notion of students boosting their literacy skills. Recognizing that students can get frustrated when they feel stuck can be reflected without a lengthy conversation. Even a math or science environment could allow a space where students can give a thumbs up or a thumbs down for how they feel surrounding a certain process being taught. A rating system of one through five would also give a quick preview of a student's comfort level on a problem. It is beneficial for the teacher as it gauges not only the perception of a student has around a cer- surrounding a particular skill set, but it also engages students in checking in with their emotional status as they engage in the coursework. So although the majority of this video is focused on students' opportunities to check in with their emotions, I need to ask another important question. Are you taking time to check in with yourself as much as you check in with your students? Remember, you are important too. Taking care of yourself as an individual needs to be a priority before others. After all, you need to take the time to focus on yourself, and as a result, you have the capacity to focus on your students. You cannot pour from an empty cup. So please make sure you are filling yourself up and acknowledging your own feelings first. Thanks for joining me. I hope this was encouraging.